What's up guys, we're back here with another well video. We picked up a few new things just to make our jobs a lot easier. Man. We got this new shovel, it's got all these holes in it. It just really helps the clay not to stick to anything. What else we pick up, man? We picked up that new pump right there. And it's really good, it just, it's got this float switch on it. It shuts itself off so we can just leave it in there and keep most of the water pumped out. That's the old one right here. And this one also, it sucks from the side. Instead of like you can see, this one sucks from the bottom. Helps out a lot with like dirt and clay getting stuck in there. Yes, sir. Spent about 80 bucks on this thing and about 70 on that. So about 150 all together. But it's well worth it for the pair because... And you, this, got, you actually got it for a discount, right? Yeah, that one actually is like 20% off of what it usually is. We all got right. it that at Harbor Freight and I ordered this off Amazon. And this just really helps a lot. Like you don't have to bang your shovel around to get the dirt off. And that keeps the water pumped out for you. Yeah, it does help a lot. We tried it out last night and it just flings the mud off there, man. It doesn't stick at all. What's the first thing we got to get to though, man? We got to pump the rest of that water out. As you can see, there's not very much down in there, but we got to get it pumped out. And then we're going to drop the ladder down there and just get to work. Catch you on just a second. What are you doing down there, man? Pumping this water out, brother. Yes, sir. You gotta pump the rest of this out. And then we start getting down there to pick pickaxe and shovel. Yep. Catch you on a second. All right, you wanna just take a second to explain to them like how far we're going down and stuff yeah, like that? Dude. We're planning on going down like eight feet right now. And then we're gonna do like a rock shelf all the way up just to shear up these walls, make sure that they don't cave in on us, you know? But total, we're probably gonna go like 24 to 30 feet, depending on how much water we hit, you know? Made this as a homemade little waterfall right here, guys. Looks like he shut it off over there. Let's go check out what Nate's doing over here. Still digging down there, man. Thanks, Jake, buddy. Getting somewhere, though. Yeah, at least we're getting somewhere now. Chewy. That's a mess down there. What are you trying to do, man? Dude, trying to get this small, low enough. We're going to set that pump in there and it can drain all the water. Right. Yeah, because we have to get it lower than all the other parts, yeah, so right? Drain, so that so it can pump, pump it can drain all yeah. the rest of the water out. Right. Yep, just want to show you all that. buddy shall we tell you what man we're getting a lot done over here take a look at that whole size is dug out over there man but we just got to keep doing the same thing we're going to try to get probably all this down a couple inches today but we'll show you all that in just a second catch y'all in a minute What are you hitting down there, Chris? Well, basically, I'm hitting rocks mainly, but we're hitting a little bit of clay. I mean, 
we just stopped hitting clay for a little bit. I guess there's like a bedding of rocks down there. I'm sweating down here, man. It's hard work, but it's good for you though. Yeah, it's just like solid like gravel mixed with clay in it. Yeah, it is. It's just solid gravel. It's hard to get through, but we just use a pickaxe, break it up, shovel it out. We're gonna keep doing that. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna show you something. We're hitting this water like, see how this is all dirty over here? And then you look at this right here and it's like clear. It's coming straight out of the ground too. That's pretty crazy and that's a good sign because if there's an underwater spring, this will never go dry. It's pretty crazy, guys. <laughs> What are we doing here? Dude, we're about to measure this sucker. It's been a while since we actually measured it. been a long time, actually. I think it was like four foot since we measured it last. What's she saying right there, Mike? Uh, I mean, like uh, six, seven, six, eight, dude. If you can see that. Dude, yeah, that's, that's close. That's like six, seven, six, eight right there. Hey, man, it's a lot of work. I tell you what. Pick so we'll go down, what, like 14 inches now, and then we can do our shelf? Dude, yeah. I mean, we're so close to doing shelves, man. It's just gonna be so That's much fun. Be, I'm really excited to do that shelf. Dude. Oh yeah, we'll get her done, man. It'll Tell make you what, this well look a lot better. Dude. It will. It'll look actually like a well. It's a lot safer too. Right? Yeah, a lot safer. That's for sure. But we're just gonna keep working. Dude, that's almost solid rock. Yeah, dude. Really crazy how massive this hole's getting, man. It's huge. Like if you just step back and look at it, can't even see him down there. Let's get this pump back down in there. You're gonna save a lot of time, dude. Yes, sir. Because now we don't have to go back and plug it in every morning. This one actually has a shut off, so it'll just keep it low like that, right? Yeah, dude. Shoot. Makes everything a lot easier. Yes, sir. Alrighty, guys. That's all the time we have for today's video. We wanted to explain why we bought the $80 shovel. We tried drilling through the other shovel. It was like five bucks. And we we're just gonna drill some holes in it. But unfortunately, we couldn't with a drill because we don't have a drill press where we're at right now. And we even tried to shoot some bullets through it, but hey, man, it just didn't work out for us, did it? No, but, sir. We I mean, tried and tried, and the nothing could get through it, dude. Yes, sir. But that's a lot of work done for the day, as you can see. I mean, we got it down. Like, we showed y'all it was like six foot seven, six foot eight. But that's going to be all for today's video. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.